Now, General Electric shares, on the other hand, are down. As investors try to figure out how more government regulation will affect the company's biggest unit, GE Capital. Suzanne O'Halloran has some feedback from Wall Street on GE. And Suzanne, what's the consensus so far? Well, Matt, you know, this is really the last thing CEO Jeff Immelt needs. GE Capital has been a headwind for the company really over the past year. And what we're hearing today from Goldman Sachs is talk of more regulation will probably create near term uncertainty for the stock, but longer term, it's not going to be that bad. In their words, they say long-term peril is unlikely for GE. The firm continues to rate the stock a hold with a 12-month price target. Now, GE Finance, as we know, continues to be the biggest revenue generator for the company and has, again, created a lot of headwinds because their exposure to finance has really been a, a big drag on the company due to the global recession. Now, CEO Jeff Emelt has been trying to bring GE Capital down in terms of the percentage it contributes to revenue. It's really about 40 percent of company revenue as it stands now. But, Matt, that has been slow going, obviously because of the, slow, uh, the ongoing recession. Now, Goldman is talking about the stock today because it continues to fall the second day in a row. This is a performance for a week. We are off really nearly, uh, well, really about 10 percent for the week. The S&P is off a lot less than that, Matt. Uh, what's interesting, though, is GE shares today are actually off the worst levels of the session. Matt? Hey, what have we heard from General Electric executives? Well, you know, earlier this week we heard from Mike Neal. He's the CEO of GE Capital, and he basically told uh, Bloomberg News that GE Capital should meet its targets in the second quarter. He said they're going to have an okay second quarter. They're supposed to earn between two and two and a half billion. And Matt, this dovetails what Jeff Immelt said just a couple of uh, days ago from that conference in Canada, where he said the credit markets really have healed. So, from their viewpoint, we are seeing a little bit of an improvement. We'll see, Matt. All right, thanks very much, Suzanne.